we uh, we're out here <laughs> going to uh, play some Starfield, and uh, we're gonna fucking like it. All right. <laughs> Um, let's cut the music. Um, so with this playthrough, uh, I've been mainly playing it offline. So this is just like the main playthrough that I'm doing of Starfield right now. Uh, so because of that, if, you, if uh, you're following any kind of VOD of this series, it likely jumped because I, I don't even know if this is the same save as the first time I streamed it. And it's good to see you guys, uh, Pat B, Nukeman, Nukeman, <laughs> John Washburn, uh, Cody, Jamie, Stablish, Brock, uh, Mantis in Space, that's right, Jamie, that's fucking right. So we're just gonna continue, I'm on Jimison, who knows what we're doing? I literally have no idea what I'm doing. But I've been playing it quite a bit offline. Edgy, good to see you. Nice, uh, little, uh... Avatar you got there. I, if that's the same edgy. Oh, was I gonna do fucking super Supra et Ultra register for the Vanguard? I already have the I got arrested being a criminal. And so I already have the fucking mission for joining the Crimson Fleet. Also, wait, before we do that, what's my inventory looking like? Boys? Jeez, Louise, okay. Alright, hold up. Hold up. Yeah, Edgy, uh, it has been a while, and yeah, I like your uh, logo in your profile picture there. That's the first time I've seen it. Looks, it looks crisp, my dude. Got anything you need to offload? Uh, yes. Oh, damn. Okay. Bro, this has fucking plus 20 to carry capacity, though. What do you mean? What do you fucking mean? Is it the resources, then? Fuck it. Sell them. Yeah, that totally emptied our shit. We done emptied our shit. Okay. Um, Trade authorities always buy. Here, hey, what can I do? I don't even okay, know what ships no I have. I know I have more than one. I have four ships. Shippensburg, looking fucking delicious. I keep the frontier the way like it stock is because it's like. <laughs> part of the fucking story, so I don't really edit it. Then I have Shippensburg. I haven't really done any of the shipbuilding, really. Rocky Raccoon. There he is. And Banana Bayonet. All great ships in their own right. But, uh, I think we're just rocking with the frontier right now. Yeah. Hey, good morning, Unexpected Bagel. Yeah, Phillips says he's not touching Starfield, um... Until is it Dick Lord? It is Dick Lord in space, absolutely. Uh, not touching Starfield until all the contents are the same, man. Yeah. Uh, for people who have like a Series X, well, I understand if you want to like you will um, be scanned as you enter the experience the you know all it has to offer all at once. But um, if you have Game Pass, uh, you already have. Why would I need to wear a spacesuit in New Atlantis? But if you already have a Game Pass membership, being able to play it included with that, I think it's nice. Nice touch. So that should increase our carry capacity. Yep, it did. Look, look at my dope-ass spacesuit. It doesn't want to show us right now because uh, it's scared. Look at that shit. I'm wearing a Varun, a refined Varun spacesuit with a repulsing... I had a matching pack if you I mean we were all just here but I exchanged it for this one because it has plus 20 carry and then that helmet's dope as fuck too yeah and uh, people 
obviously this game was controversial. I feel like a lot, okay, like I'm not trying to pawn it off on, on this either. So don't feel like, uh, I think this is the reason, but, um, I feel like it got a lot of hate from people who are exclusively on like PlayStation consoles due to it not coming to PlayStation. Um, but that doesn't mean that the game didn't have a ton of fucking flaws. I don't, I just don't think that made it any better. Like when it got dogpiled with bad reviews from that as well. Um, I personally enjoy my time with Starfield like quite a bit. Um, but the main story is right up my alley in the sci-fi department. Um, all the stuff with, uh, different universes and shit like that. Like I really, uh, I really vibe with that shit. I, I, I like it a lot. Yeah, Chinese stealth armor. Yeah, it does look like that. Oh, dude. For anybody who hasn't really played this, like, uh, we could go through the fucking, uh, you want some lore dumps here? Here, uh, let's see if I can. Notice that I play it on 4K, but I can only broadcast it in 1080p. I'm, I'm not even using, a f like, a fourth of my power here. I guess a, a fourth of my power is being used. Um... That'd be an oh, it'd probably be an accessibility. Learn the Earth's magnetosphere would collapse sometime in the next half century, eliminating all life on the planet. Hopefully, there we go. Yeah. Was required, but the if this is too boring for you guys, you don't want to see it. We can skip through. <laughs> would demand a new kind of cooperation. But we can get some Lord dumps here. Courage, and a new kind of union. Thus. In 2159, the United Colonies were formed to make that journey possible. Just one year later, the Galileo, the first of many colony ships, touched down here on Jemison. The UC the likes it when you walk through this whole thing, too. History, the age of the United Colonies. Yeah, Jamie, you know, uh, all those times I said I was giving it all I could got, uh, all I, all it's got? Turns out I could have been giving it a lot more. That's right, Sarah. That's whatever you were talking about for you. I've probably got every display in this place memorized at this point. In 2050, the Earth exploded. <laughs> Not that one. I don't know what that guy's on about, but here's a uh, globe. I don't know what she did. She just like walked over and slapped the rope. Okay, so a uh, new factions on the rise. Let's uh, let's hear about it. From their foundation. <laughs> Also, I'm on dog watch, by the way, guys. Uh, I'm streaming before everybody else in the house is uh, woken up. So, my wife is still asleep. The dogs sleep in bed with us because we have little dogs. And they're our children, for the most part. Um, so, when they come waddling out here, needing to go outside, I will have to get up, open the door, make sure everything's good with that. So, we may have to take a little break when it start, uh, starts. Uh, but I plan on going for a while. Um, like I said, I've been playing this offline, so... The Free Star Collective it's been, uh, was formally organized in 2188. Uh, pulled me in later. Later. followed by House Boom, revealing themselves to the universe in 2230. The result of the Centaurus proclamation has always left me torn. So much conflict arose as a result. Was it worth it? It was only in 2230. That the faction known what are you as saying over here, Ike? It's no scrolls contact, and it's no fallout, and that's okay. Just systems. okay. Makes me thirsty. Yeah, it makes me thirsty Founded for our worlds too. I feel that. I feel that big time. That feel that big time. Um, I like what it is, was a faction, but I'm hoping that they other. improve on it. Bethesda being they. With updates, uh, there's. Um, if I believe it was Camelworks, it was either Camelworks or Fudge Muppet. Um, but they did a huge retrospective on this game. Well, I guess it wouldn't be a retrospective, but a huge essay on this game. And every point they brought up, if it was addressed, this game would be amazing. It would be one of the best Bethesda games of all time. Um, something as little, and again, I'm not a game developer, so I don't know how little it would be to do. But just adding points of interest, even if they're randomly generated by the same thing that randomly generates every fucking thing else in this game, which is one of its downfalls, in my opinion, the AI generation throughout everything. Um, just having points of interest every 
two or you know like two two or three minutes walk out from each location just having that i think would make this game more in line with fallout elder scrolls you know their their, their past games um it, <laughs> but one one thing that i was shocked to find out so like I thought that the only way you could land on the Earth landmarks were to find the books, read the books, they give you the location, and then you go to the Earth location and check it out. And like a lot of, I figured a lot of locations worked that way. That's how you found them. Um, but if you find the pixel perfect spot on Earth to land, you will hit the landmark. So like it is there at all times, which I, I thought was actually fucking kind of wild. Toastadora, good to see you by the way. Yeah, Ollie, like, uh, more, me, more POIs more often, points of interest more often, and really rare points of interest would be nice that only show up, like, once in a star system or something like that. Uh, that'd be really cool as well, because then you'll feel like you found something fucking special. And then Philip's asking about the Magic the Gathering set. Um, I'm usually not a Magic, you know, I've never really played Magic, my friends have played it i've had friends that have played it and collected the cards and stuff it's the first time i've ever wanted to get <laughs> sets of the cards i don't know when the um the rest of human when the dlc is coming but uh i know that they had already announced Over the, next the years, of free star, um, shattered space dlc which is a story dlc obviously um and then you and know the there's going to be creation club God. and then hopefully it has this if it even has half of the modding community that Fallout and Elder Scrolls has, it'll be fucking rad. So, because mods can add points of interest every <laughs> every one minute, two minute walk out from things. So at least somebody will likely make something like that if they haven't already. I haven't looked at the mods for this. I know I'm talking through this with their subtitles. So if you're interested in the lore, there you go. And again, if most people watching, there's not a lot of people watching the stream. If you vote that you don't want to sit through this lore dump, we'll just go down and take the pilot's test. Uh, Water Lyman, good to see you. Uh, Starfield's treat me good. I like Starfield. So uh, I have a good time with it. It has its flaws for sure. That weren't really all that apparent to me uh, when I first started playing. The first couple weeks I had with Starfield, I was just like, this is fucking amazing. Uh, I didn't really see the flaws after now being with it for as long as we have months and months and months with it. I can definitely see its shortcomings, but um, I have a good time with it. Spread quickly across the galaxy. Both sides deployed every tool at their disposal. Yeah, Nuke Man, those uh, those magic cards get expensive, man. That's why I haven't or like I haven't really bought them, bought them yet. But it's like I'm interested in just having them because it's it's special, you know. Makes tragic the garnering real from uh, the Fallout series. Came out around the same time in the timeline too. I'm gonna make the executive decision to skip through this. Their shocking victory against the galaxy's greatest unless i mean are, are you guys enjoying this lordo trying to the read the room here in see what kind of audience we have here costs accepted the galaxy has been rebuilding ever since the colony war was a horrible conflict that irreparably wounded the settled systems there were times I felt that it would Fair never enough, Nukeman. Fair enough. Few settled worlds were left untouched by the colony war. But nowhere could the viciousness of modern warfare It's a be cool little clearly. Well, actually. <laughs> if you want to get bitchy about it, we can pick this apart big time. Uh, like signifying more laziness with Bethesda, where instead of you learning all this through the game world, like you would have in Elder Scrolls and Fallout, you just walk through an exhibit that Lord dumps on you. The exhibit thing is cool, don't get me wrong, but I would also be cool to learn it. Well, I guess you can learn about the majority of this in the game world. I'm being a little too harsh. Being a little too harsh on it. Yeah, I, 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 I agree. Well, and Artemis isn't familiar with Starfield at all, so the lore is kind of nice to check out. Well, uh, here's some right here. This is a, a neat little interaction. 
This thing's like an artist's rendition, right? No animal can be this ugly in real life. All four of my last science papers have been on pteromorphs. One of my slates said pteromorphs can control people's they can. minds. They absolutely can. But that can't be true. No, it's totally true. I bring her here almost every day to stare at this thing. I've already killed a few of these in this playthrough, so it kind of makes like their reveal a little... In the midst of the colony war, a different kind of tragedy struck the UC A little less city impactful. Lundian. A newly constructed but critical Dad, supply center for the United Colonies war well, effort. Lundinian yeah, dude, we need to do the next episode of uh, The Wolf the Among Us. Most mysterious Sad. You're right. The Terramorph. Yeah, no, uh, so I'll, I'll probably, if I'm free, which I should be, uh, I'll do it tomorrow or tonight. Yeah, 76 did have a similar thing. You're right. They kind of, well, they don't lore dump on you as much as this, but they definitely give you a rundown. This is, this is neither, Jamie. Um, it's not New Game Plus, so this is my, like, a, the first save of this run. But I'm like level 22, and I'm pretty like. The tragedy of Londinian is mourned by the UC. I'm pretty like. Uh, with the main quest, I've gotten a couple of the powers even, which is uh you know some quests in the main story. I have a few of the artifacts, so we're not like completely starting fresh in in this exact stream. But um, Real this is not new game plus yet, no. Freestar Collective came together to ratify a treaty that became known as the Armistice. Both sides agreed to a vast reduction in standing forces and that Xeno weapons and mech warfare would be outlawed. All related research was sealed away, accessible only in cases of dire emergency. But the Collective had another demand that the active commanders of the UC military stand trial for their actions. The United Colonies, in the interest of peace and galactic security, agreed. In 2311, three United Colonies senior officers were found guilty. Commander Henry Durant, General Indira Rastogi, and Fleet Admiral Those Francois <coughs> Vapens, man. known better as Vey Victus. Vey Victus. All were sentenced to death for their actions, bringing the colony war to a close and returning peace to the galaxy at long last. I was a strong supporter of the Armistice. All of the terrible weapons that both sides used against one another. Yeah, Fallout 2 had the tragic cards. That's what I'm saying. Tragic the garnering. I, I'm saying garnering weird, but that's because I'm dumb. <laughs> but, uh... Uh, the tragic cards came out in uh, 2023, I'm pretty sure, in the Fallout timeline, which is uh, pretty close, pretty, pretty fucking close. An official branch of the UC Navy, the Vanguard is the United Colonies Volunteer Fleet, serving a myriad of security, logistical, and... Ollie, are you talking about in Starfield? You wonder how big the factions are? I can tell you right now. Harrison, see Harrison, I like the main quest. Guaranteed to every Vanguard member. Open to all captains, regardless of origin. The Vanguard is leading the charge to No, everybody's pretty recovered from the fall of Earth. That was uh, colonies, wherever in I'm pretty sure a couple hundred years ago in this timeline. Um There's three major factions that have a foothold in like all of this all of the galaxy. It's the Vanguard, which we're learning about right now. We're in their midst right now. Um, well, I mean, the United Colonies, but they have the Vanguard. Uh, the United Colonies. And then you have the Freestar Collective, which I'd say is a similar size to the United Colonies, but like live this like Wild West aesthetic out in New Vegas planet. And then uh, you have the Varun, House Varun, which are pretty much always hostile when you meet them but they have more lore than the common raider you know like one of those situations um that's that they, they go throughout 
all of the settled systems, these these three factions. So that's how established they are. I'd say the United Colonies is the most established. We're in New Atlantis right now, which is their city. And uh, it's the biggest city Bethesda's ever made for a game. Um, and the Free Stars capital. Um, fuck is it called? Where uh, Sam goes from. Where the fuck is it? What is that called? Prides itself on taking care of its people. Isn't it in... Aquila, thank you. Aquila City, thank you. Fuck. Oh my god. Cost of living so, uh, by comparison, Aquila City's, like, dirty and overrun and with, like, small. monsters, and they have to have a wall to, like, protect themselves. Like, New Atlantis has none of these problems. So I feel like the United Colonies is, a, like, probably the most established and faction, and the one that has the most, the like... Like they're, they're explaining it right now, systems. and becoming a citizen is like a big fucking deal. By joining the Vanguard today, the good guys at the beginning aren't the good guys at all. Not necessarily. It's not like that so far. Because the main quest kind of goes beyond the factions. The they have not created city maps yet. <laughs> no, no, sir. Let's see if we can even get a local map right now. Um. Um, I'm inside, so I can't even show you the, like, surface map. Okay, we did the whole thing. So, what we're about to do here is take a pilot's test for... I've spent a fair bit of time in simulators just like these. They're starting uh, joining the Vanguard. Have fun. Take the skill book. I don't remember if Moby Dick gives us a location or not. I don't think it does. So I'm just going to ignore it. Space combat, not my uh, top flight simulation skill, replicant. so... Currently in orbit around a high detail recreation of a remote world. When you're ready to begin, please take a seat in the pilot's chair. Your exam is simple. Defeat as many tiers of opponents as you can before your ship is disabled. You must defeat at least three tiers of opponents to pass the exam. Sure. Good hunting, applicant. Thank you. Oh, shit, the shield. Um, oh, easy. New targets active. Here we go, boys. Like I said, I am not the best at space combat. I rarely do it. But, uh... Fucking get some action going. Whoops. Okay. All targets eliminated. Progress recorded. Tier one reached. Initiating tier two. I haven't really tried it in third person. Maybe I'm better at it in third person, actually. <laughs> this might actually make sense. Maybe not. Maybe not. Okay, we're doing alright actually. We are doing alright. I have the lock on system though. Because I upgraded my uh, upgraded my sh uh, ship skill a little bit. It's a little bit harder without that lock on. Zoom in VAT style lock on. What is going on here? New targets active. Yo. Yeah, 
Space fighting is difficult, Jamie. <laughs> I'm doing all right this time. Congratulations, applicant. You've defeated sufficient opponents to pass the exam. You may now exit the simulator. Nah, man, we'll, we'll keep going. Your current score. We'll keep going. Or stay and try your hand at the remaining tiers. The engine really doesn't need to have that much power. Is easier in third person for me. All targets eliminated. Progress recorded. Tier four reached. Initiating tier five. Tier five, boys. Tier five, boys. Get up on out of here. Uh oh. Yeah, now we're getting kind of wrecked. Ooh, look at all my stuff. Oh, they fucked me. Calculating intercept vectors. Yo, they're fucking me up. Okay, got one. Got one of them. Yo. Ooh. Yeah, I can't do anything but laser shoot him. Oh my god. Okay. Okay, you got us. You got us. You win, Space Stimulation. We made it to Tier 5. Stone Delore, yeah, baby Kobe. Okay, yeah. No, it's coming. It's coming, brother. I am fucking sorry that I've neglected it. No, 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 no. Shut it down. Uh, it's gonna fucking happen. I'm really sorry. Congratulations, that, that series. You've passed. Got left on the side to Walla to receive your final results yeah, and already. your probationary assignment. All right, let's go get our probationary assignment. You're welcome to take another run at the simulation if you'd like to try and earn No thanks. Earn a better score. I'm good. Okay. Well, look who's back. Everything go all right with the exam? Or did you have some questions you needed answered first? Ah, so these are your numbers that just came through. Let's see how we did. You ready to hear how you did? Yes. Then let's get to them. So, looking at the data, hit every mural in the orientation. Sure hall, did. Huh? A test of preparation and thoroughness. To trace the Vanguard values highly. Psychological results are all within expected levels. Navy doesn't have room for folks that'll fall apart the first time they're trying to outrun a homing missile. Now, how'd you do against your foes? Tier 4. Not too sure. Nah, Cubby, if you don't want to play, you don't want to play. Make it, us man. test each level of the sim, too. <laughs> Nothing wrong I with that. I can tell you that way were some real artificial bastards. Good job putting them away. Hell of a job. I might even let you fly me around sometime. The fuck does that mean, so sir? Then, oh my god. Looking at your results as a whole, and presuming you're successful in completing your probationary mission, you could have your UC citizenship after only 10 years service. 10 years service. Pretty standard for combat assignments. But your performance in the simulator does mean I can offer a Yeah, Artemis, bonus. what the fuck is that cat How bug in here? You to join the cause? <laughs> On your avatar? For YouTube? Like That's amazing. Time, but it's worth the it's been a long time. Fucking loves citizen. cat bug. <laughs> So, sounds to me like we've got Vanguard material on our hands. If you're interested, we could bring you on as a provisional member today. Get you the credits you've earned, then send you out on yeah, your probationary mission. Yeah, Patty, we're mission. winning. First, though, all UC service people, provisional or otherwise, are required to swear an oath. So, you want to make this official? 
Commit yourself to the cause of the colonies? It's a big decision. John, you're not about to have my compatriot here sign some kind of contract that sells you their grandmother five years down the line, are you? Officers honor Sarah. This is honest work for honest credits. Yes, yeah, Sarah. So, you ready to do the deed? Uh, yes. Fantastic. Let's go, Sarah. Just follow boys. me. Holy shit, it's time. I'm dressed like a fucking Star Wars character. Hell yeah. <laughs> The fucking worst thing that Bethesda does is not any of the shit people bitch about. <laughs> it's that they never make your walking speed the same walking speed as the NPCs. Like, you always lag behind or you fucking run way ahead. Now, if you have a controller, I guess you could tilt the fucking analog stick a little bit, you know, better. But, uh, wouldn't be right doing this where we couldn't see the stars. Ain't no stars now, out. raise your right hand. The motto of the Vanguard is Supra et Ultra. The, the motto of the beyond. Vanguard. That is Fucking where we serve. Beyond the furthest ad victorium. reaches of the United Colonies military. <laughs> Let's go. With honor and duty above reproach. Do you swear to protect and defend the citizens of the United Colonies to the best of your abilities? Looking like Jesus stoned to and space to Jesus. uphold the values of the Vanguard. Honor. It's worse things. Loyalty. Self-reliance. In all your actions as a member of the United Colonies Navy? Let's go. I do. Then let me be the first to officially welcome you to the United Colonies Vanguard. Now, only thing left is getting you that probationary mission. And what I've got is comms repair. Tau City. Group trying to refurb an old colony war processing plan on Tau City Fucking 2. Lousy with terms. Sounds like they've barely gotten <laughs> set up when their communication. The whole star died. system. Place is as isolated as they come. So Brass wants a vanguard to deliver the repair suite and ensure anyone present is safe and secure. So, can the people of Tau Ceti 2 count on you? These guys are like NATO? Uh, maybe. I mean, it's definitely a governing... It's like a govern... I don't know. It's like a governing body. They, they fought the Free Star Collective in this big fucking space war. And it's post-war now. And tensions are still a little high between the two factions. That's the spirit. Head down to the spaceport and talk to Crew Chief Harath. He'll get you the repair suite plus your new recruit kit. Mm, fuck yeah. Oh, and your advance. Ooh. Give it your all out there. Supra et Ultra. Ad Victorian. Let's go. Oh, okay, so we got the first dog here. Um, I'm gonna let my dog out. So, uh, yeah. I'll leave it on this screen here and I'll be right back. <laughs> but I let him out. And he was pretty stoked on that. And I just left the slider open. Even though it's fucking Snowtown outside for no reason. 
too much snow this year. That's the problem. That's the problem. Another day. Dude, Detroit Become Human is something we need to stream. I've only played a little bit of it. Like usual, just a couple hours. Oh, fuck, I should, uh... Something to report? It's 78 in Tampa? Nice. That's fucking beautiful. That's fucking beautiful. Uh, I don't mind the snow every once in a while. We've just had a lot of it this year. Um, it's not super cold out right now, but it snowed overnight and it's kind of melting. Um, we've just, it, like, we've had, like, like, not, I mean, there's people who have had more for sure. It's, I'm not trying to have a competition or anything, you know, like, complain about it too much. But, like, we've had a few, uh, few feet, uh, this year. So convert that if you don't use feet where you live. But we've had, like, probably six or seven feet over the whole year. But it's just been like, all right, you know, like, let's get on with spring now. Welcome to UC can't Distribution. Wait. Something I can do for you? I hope we have... Okay. I don't really have anything else to sell. I have a bunch of resources on the frontier. Helmets. Spacesuits. Apparel. Looking good. Okay, we have some stuff we can let go of here. You know? I'll take the loss on that. Okay, um, oops. Well, well. Let me see. Oh, just ship parts? Meh. You're always welcome back, if you don't mind a bit of a wait. All of my dogs have gone mad. And now my wife is up, and she can handle it. Okay. You had four feet of snow in February? Yeah, that's, uh, sounds about right for what I had, too. Well, maybe it was before that, but it did happen, like, just adjusting here, smacking into the microphone, Jesus Christ. Um, a lot of it happened, like, at once. <laughs> And then, uh, kind of tapered off. I would never dream of selling. Yes, by all means, have a look. He should sell med packs. Yeah, let's just buy everything he has. All right, buddy. See you Be later. Be careful out there. Can't make med packs. That's something I hope they fucking patch into. Is Edgy out of here? Have a good one, Edgy. It was good to see you again. Okay, so. Get our uh, welcome package from joining the Vanguard here. This is an early game quest. Even though I was talking about all, all that shit about not being in the early game, I just didn't do this bit. This is like one of the first quests you get. I just have been uh, putting it off. Yes. Really? She managed to limp 
back here at all. Pull it for leeches, get it fixed up, and let her know we'll have it ready as soon as we can. Yes, sir. Ah, you are new probationary then? Yes. Crew Chief Herat. Pleasure to be working with you. Chief? Chief it's my Herat. job to make sure all you rocket it's jockeys are ready for dogs. anything up, that comes at you up there. What's up, fellas? Now, Manifest says we're fitting oh. you out with one comms repair suite. In addition to the standard issue welcome kit all probationary pilots get for their first mission. Oh, hey, Red Nukeman, thank you for arms, the little shout out in the chat. Parts. Yes, uh, like the stream helps out a lot. So consider doing that if you are enjoying the vibes around have everything on your ship before you Thank you, Nukeman. Won't even know they were there. Hmm. So, paying a visit to the people of scenic Dao City 2. Nice easy one for your first job. Just keep your head on swivel and you'll come home safe. Fine. Any questions before you head out? Let's ask him some questions. Anything you can tell me about Tau City 2? I honestly didn't realize it had people living on it until we got your record. Yeah, oh, that's Reports always a good sign. Reports seem clean. No known hostile outposts. But I wouldn't say that's permission to let your guard down. Just watch out for wildlife and pirates. Keep those med packs handy and you'll be fine. Welcome to the party, Andrew. Nothing too dangerous, if that's your concern. The repair suite's mostly just wiring and circuit boards. The welcome kit has some goodies in there I wouldn't leave sitting around when company comes to visit. But it's nothing some proper storage can't make safe. Then I won't keep you. Good. Make us look good out there, recruit. Okay, let's uh, make contact with the settlers on Tau City 2. Let's go. Fire up your hat. An abandoned meat packing facility built on the fringes of the settled systems. I wonder what happened here. Don't worry about it, Sarah. Oh, good. Granola mix, hello. Oh, I didn't read all that. Happy uh, it happened, or sorry for your loss. Okay, um. Something's been through here recently, but left everything in place. Good deduction, sir. Mm, at least we know it wasn't the Crimson Fleet. Ho ho ho. The game should let you have a space dog. I know that you can have animals at your settlements. But, uh, I do not think any of them are dogs. Is this where we went through? Yes. Wait, is that something next to that? Yes. Ooh. Yes. All right. Ominous roar. Either I got hit harder than I thought, or you've got some incredible timing. Regardless, I think it knows you're here. I'll unlock the door. Second floor, main building. Be quiet. Let's go, boys. So what do we got here? It's too clean to be. I think the game looks really good, by the way. Or a pirate. People wondering. You see on patrol, maybe? Yeah, make my day if you um, said you were a shot. How I feel about the way it looks. <laughs> I think the I think it's the best looking Bethesda game. Vanguard, huh? Yeah, I expect they didn't. I'm Hadrian. I'm a... I was a researcher with the UC. I, I came here on a rumor of a... Well, I expect you saw the results on your way in. What's left of the settlers? The work of Oxisio Machina. Uh, Andrew, I'll probably watch Sting's match. Uh, I'm one not gonna order it, no. One of the nastiest aliens humanity's um, ever crossed But I'm hoping with. to catch Sting's and match online one, after, well, at least. It's something you know, some of an anomaly. Of Possibly a worrying one. 
I can't believe that a terramorph did all this damage. I don't even I know mean, the rest I've of the card, the story, actually. <laughs> to see the decimation first. I don't even know who Sting's. Uh, uh, who he's wrestling? Isn't he? Who who is Sting wrestling? Uh, tomorrow. Let's ask what a terramorph is. Other than a remorseless killing machine. Among apex predators. It's versus they the are bucks. The pinnacle, resilient. Didn't adult, he request smart, that? And their mental prowess only increases with age. <coughs> Some can even dominate the minds Interesting of the species. Interesting choice. Whatever. I hope he has a fucking great pets, match. Livestock. Or toys. <laughs> They're creatures without peer. Terramorphs have a unique growth cycle. They're usually only found on worlds that have been long colonized by humanity. But Tao said he's too young to have one. Yet here it is. I came looking for an explanation and found all this. I managed to scope out a fair bit of the facility before it found me. Death stranding ass fucking. If there are any survivors <laughs> of the attack, they're long gone. <laughs> I sure could. Because to confirm my suspicions about this creature, I'm going to need a tissue sample from it. And to get that, I need its corpse. Corpse time. <laughs> but there is a way we can give ourselves an edge against this thing. The plant security system. The admin terminal's here in this building, but it needs its connection reset. And as I found out, that's not a one-person job. But if you can make it to the security outpost and restore the connection, I think I can get things back online. See if the settlers left us any other tools. Okay. The settlers outfitted most of the buildings with turrets at some point. Not sure how many are still operable, but at least a few of them. <laughs> yeah, near a track. Gotta wait for it to there catch a cold to get that tissue sample. Yeah. Scattered around the facility that I didn't recognize. <laughs> but those are honestly all just educated guesses until we get the connection reset. Well, let's fucking do it then. Oh shit! Whoops. You're back. Good. Once I see the connection reset, <clears throat> I'll get things underway on my end. Take care of yourself out there, and make sure you leave enough of that thing for us to get a sample. All right. Okay. Connection restored. I'll make this quick. Hmm. Plants turrets took a beating. But Might I should be well able to get you a couple can. of kill lanes. Just get the thing to chase you down the alleys between the buildings, and you'll lead it right into a crossfire. Hello. I wish I'd found this earlier. Those sensors around the facility? Part of a livestock tracking system. Should let you keep tabs on how close the terramorph is. Hey, thank you, Fallout Aesthetics. I hope you're doing good. And uh, Nero, uh, Starfield is uh, doing doing well. I like it. I, I like Starfield a lot. So. Um, yes. All right, boys. Turn more time. Trackers reading green. Shit. Stop. Stop whatever you're doing and get in cover. It's on the move. Oh my god. Look, I wouldn't engage directly if you could avoid it. We could probably the take it, lines, but... They're set up but need power. We'll There's do it breakers how she wants on each of the buildings you can throw to get them live. Once they're online, lead the terramorph towards the lights and watch the fireworks.
in hell, Vanguard. Seeing a meat packing facility from the inside is starting to make me feel like I should. Yeah, Nero, to I feel that I have a huge backlog right now. I kind of want to like stream all my backlog and like play through them that way. Oh, it's right there. Shit. Again, we could probably take it. Space death claws. Well, wow. he's closing in on us, though. Lit up by those. Tissue sample. Yikes. Yeah, Kazadoris in space. Yeah, watch out for that shit. Tracker's gone quiet. I suspect it's either hiding or. Wait. Uh, yeah, Nero. It kind of got. It was like targeting me. It was aggro to me, and all of the fucking uh, turrets were active, so it just kind of got trapped up in its own bullshit. That's a <laughs> yeah. Bethesda thing. <laughs> Taken care of. No big deal. That's probably like the fucking tenth one I've killed this playthrough. You didn't happen to grab me a tissue sample, did you? That this one's important because it's story protected. All right. I spotted a microscope downstairs. Let's see if we can't get to the bottom of this. All right. Cyborg Casadoras with laser beams on their head. Holy shit. Leak, watch out with that shit. Nobody get any ideas from that. Uh, uh, older model. Okay, let's see what you can do. Running basic diagnostics. That's fair, uh, Patty. Maybe a flax can? To read it in space! <laughs> Damn. This equipment, it's not set up to do a proper analysis of our sample. But this Terramorph being here, of all places, it doesn't make sense. Humanity's spread plenty of creatures in our travels across the stars. Pets, livestock, pests. 
But Terramorphs? They're different. To our knowledge, no one's ever spread them intentionally. Yet somehow... I don't think all the modders gave up, but there was at least so uh, one group that did, settle yeah. a world. 70 to 100 years later, Terramorphs tend to just appear. No one knows how or why. Dangerous, but at least predictable. Talcetti, though, it's too young to have a native population. Hey, it's Empire Waste, good to see us. 20 years? But then the other option, that someone captured one of the deadliest predators in the galaxy just to wipe out some settlers minding their own business? That seems awfully implausible. Which means we're either looking at a truly strange murder or a faster type of terramorph growth, the results of which could be catastrophic. Terramorph outbreaks have taken down far bigger colonies than this one. All right, let's see. <laughs> Feels like a big leap from me. <laughs> it's a single sample. They have. They even took down an entire city once. A place called Londinian had to be quarantined due to a massive outbreak during the colony war. It's the only known loss of that scale, but it's the reason why any change in our relationship with these creatures needs to be taken very seriously. Well, they're not exactly buying tickets and flying coach. The theory is that they're spread by some kind of egg or seed that's able to evade our detection. But how the hell an undetectable egg turns into a terramorph without anyone noticing? It's pretty wild. No if you guys haven't seen it, I'm to. not gonna and it's why spoil what's it. Happened but here this is one of the best. Be real bad news. This is one of the, the best uh, little civilization. like in-game lore quests in the game, in my opinion. There is. There has to be. We just have to find it. Time was, I had access to one of the best repositories of Terramorph research in the galaxy. Seems a natural place to start looking, if I can figure how to access it. But we also need to get this sample properly analyzed, get confirmation on just how concerned we should be. Luckily, I think I know just the person to help with the sample. What would you say to delivering this to him for me? Oh, we'll do it. Yeah, I'd do it myself, but I need to call in some things. I'd do it myself, but I got a lot I going can't on. Get access to that Terramorph data. <laughs> Terramorphs being too young. Plus, maybe just pop by a hospital for a little bit. Clear it with your commander first if you have to. You can even show them this. My gene tag. Tell them Hadrian Sanon. Sanon. Is worried there could be more attacks. Well, that's interesting, horizon. isn't it, folks? If you're paying attention the during name. the lore dump at the beginning of the stream. I was, long time ago. Family tradition. Sarah Morgan should actually have a but reaction to this. I know some I of the folks from my old unit moved into the Vanguard. A couple even owe me favors. If I'm lucky, your commander is one of them. Oh, you don't understand what a weight off my shoulders that is. I need Dr. Percival Walker to put together a sample analysis for this thing. Full workup. He'll know what that means. I'm not sure exactly where to find him. Of course but not. But last I heard, he was contracting with the Trade Authority on Mars. There's a place called the Sixth Circle in Sidonia. A bar run by some old friends. I'll meet you and Percival there. And here... It's not exactly a bounty, but you certainly deserve them. Should cover the cost of fuel to Mars, at least. Now, please, go check in with your commander. We need to know what we're dealing with. Okay. 1,800 credits for killing a Terramorph. All right. Oh, geez, I'll try not to spend it all in one place. Craziest fast travel in Bethesda of all time. In all games of all time. Oh, I'll just fast travel to different planets, no big deal. <laughs> just whoop. Hell of a city, isn't it? There's nowhere else like it in the galaxy. Uh, what, what does that say? Uh, 
Spaghetto7 says, I was the guy who kept laughing when you would fall down in Red Dead 2. I have a different account now. Well, hello, welcome back to the stream. It is fucking hilarious when uh, you eat shit in Red Dead 2, so it makes sense that you were laughing. But that's a cursed playthrough that we're doing right now. Like, uh, the physics are all bugged out, and uh, Arthur, like, doesn't get off of his horse right when it's in motion sometimes. He just eats shit. Just, <laughs> just clobbers to the fucking ground. Look who's back. All set with that probationary mission? A terror? What? How did you walk away with the terror morph tissue well, sample yeah. running comms repairs? Wouldn't you like to know? What happened to the settlers? You killed a terror morph. You killed a terror morph on your first mission. A <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> Above and beyond doesn't really begin to describe it now, does it? Earned yourself some serious hazard pay on this one. But, uh, if none of the settlers made it, who's got you delivering the sample? A researcher. Let me see that. Hmm, Sanan. I know that name. Come on, Tuala. Let me check the database. Come on, Tuala. <laughs> A lot of this data's been classified. I see you didn't pay attention in Here your fucking... Service record. Orientation. Wow. That's a lot of commendations. Seems like she served with distinction as co-head of a UC Xeno weapons division. Faced tribunal at the end of the colony war. And was dismissed from duty. Guess that's why I'd heard the name before. If she's former Xeno warfare, though, well, we can at least be sure she Oh shit. <laughs> oh, I want to write myself a reminder to do a Twitch raid at the end of this. I wanted to make sure that I started rating other channels because that's a nice thing to do um... and if I don't write myself a reminder I'll fucking forget because I'm used to streaming on YouTube which I don't think has that ability I don't think you can raid other channels Twitch raid all right. Set that bad boy right there. You know what? Set it I right here. I really need here. to know what happened out there. So I can see it. All right, perfect. Okay. Certainly seems that way. Did your survivor, Hadrian, did she mention why she thinks this sample is so special? There's rain notifications on YouTube? I've, I've never done it before. So maybe if we can do it on YouTube, I'll do it on YouTube as well. I like to be able to pass, you know, like, oh, here's, you know, some people that might want to watch this stream. Um, I think that's a nice thing. And people on Twitch, uh, a couple of my friends have uh, raided me before with, like, you know, 100 people, which for me on Twitch is f fucking awesome. Um, I, and hey, Snez, good to see you. I see. Well, this is one of the more surprising debriefs I've ever been a part of. But if Hadrian Sinan thinks this sample needs to get to Mars... Then we're gonna make sure it gets to Mars. I'll take care of the clearances and ensure you get your credits. Fuck yeah. Consider these your first official orders. And here, so everyone knows. Yeah, that's you're what I'm saying. I don't right. I'm I'm Welcome I'm to new Navy, to like the Captain. advanced features of streams Vanguard's like that. I like know how to stream. I know how to get this live stream out to you guys. To him next time you're and the space I have a stream deck, Talk so I know how to switch services. my shit around with that. Now, and then if there wasn't anything else. The rest is magic. Just you move out. Oh, we got UC Vanguard gear now. Is it better than my Varun shit, though? I kind of doubt it. Oh, definitely not. Get fucked, Vanguard. My mother wanted me to be a doctor. A doctor. <laughs> Mothers, am I right? Wouldn't know. <laughs> Time to go to Mars. Um... Uh, yeah, just land on it. Fuck it. While we're here, we should definitely stock up on supplies at the exchange. Fucking sandstorm. I have a few quests that want me to be here, honestly. Okay. 
something you need? I certainly do. It's all yours. Time to go? Give me a leaf. Thank you. Am I in your way? Sorry. Who the fuck is that? He's named. Oh, hi there. Well, I... I, I guess I am. The thing is, uh, I get injured on the job a lot. Nothing too serious. I've lost a few fingers and toes and oh, stuff. Oh, Jesus. And, and will I have to go see Dr. Flynn a lot for treatment? I'm pretty sure she's annoyed and sick of seeing me. I don't blame her. I've been thinking about writing her a letter of apology, but I have no idea where to even start. If he's not actually missing fingers... ...weird or annoying... I'm... gonna be disappointed. No. Oh, I mean... Was that too frank? I, I don't know. I mean, the job pays well, but it's dangerous and hard work. I hurt myself a lot, too. I'm definitely looking forward to my contract being up so I can leave. But I don't really know what I'll do after. Man. Maybe they glue the fingers back on? Stressful. Well, let's see. Uh, take care. Looks like he has all of them. Fucking Bethesda. If this was a Rockstar game, dude, 279 hours of that incident. Um, that's a pretty high number. If this was a Rockstar game, he'd be like, he'd be missing the fingers. Yo, hey, what's up? You looking to do some shopping here at the Trade Authority? I'm Monaki. Feel free to ask me anything, and I'll do my best to help you out. See you around. Was that... Oh, I, I was like, is that not who I'm supposed to be talking to? Invoices can be collected from the... Oh. Not here for a delivery, are you? Captain Dick Lord, Vanguard. I don't know if I should do that. Worked. Past tense. Dr. Hey, John, Walker have a good one. hasn't been employed here for some time now. A shame, too. We had such high hopes for Percival. I brought him on myself to do medical and biological consulting around the city. Not the sort of work the trade authority traditionally does. <laughs> Looks like Rob Schneider. I see what you mean. I do see what you mean. Stream for our branch. I can see it big time. Now, now I can't no not see it. Of nice, Patty. The but then he decided to run off after a discipline issue. I presume the miners have him hidden somewhere. Oh, shit. Plenty of cracks on this old rock. But at this point, it's probably for the best. Um, yes. That won't be necessary. The trade authority isn't interested in employing someone so oh, like a, unreliable. He's saying he's unreliable, not me. Okay. But we would like the money he owes us. If you can convince him to pay his debts, we'd be most grateful. Oh, I loathe the trade authority. Is it absolutely necessary that we have to help them? Yes, Sarah. Why? Feeling charitable? I don't recall the exact figure off the top of my head, but with the interest it's accrued, I believe it's something substantial. So if you were able to find him and convince him to clear his accounts... I've never just paid the debt, which I feel like is a good idea because what I usually end up training for him seems like a way better deal. Oh, I can't believe you're helping them. What a stupid waste of time. Wow, Sarah. Wonderful. I suggest paying a visit. If anyone knows where Percival is, the miscreants there would. But I would urge caution. They're not a group known for their hospitality. Was there something else? I don't recall the exact figure off the top of my head. If you're feeling charitable, do you now? Let me take a look at his... Here. His current balance. 
And do remember, all transactions are final. 21,000? I thought it was like a grand. Now fuck it. Hmm. We cleared. Wonderful. Dr. Walker's dead is officially no longer our problem. You have my thanks. Oh, and if you do find him, please let Percival know. Yeah, I haven't done I'm it this way before. Looking forward to never now we can with him again. Fuck. Maybe I should have. Wait. 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 Let's. Okay, hold up. Hold up. Estonia can have a depressing effect on some. My fucking suit shouldn't be making that noise. Um. I want to get further through the quest and make sure that we make that, uh. Like. Miracle Invoices Kim. can be collected. Oh. Do you know? Well, I do wish I could help you, Captain. A shame, too. We are um, not the sort of work I invested. But then, I presume the miners. But at this point. That won't be necessary. But we. Oh, I love the truth. I couldn't have put that better myself. Nice. Hmm. Perhaps a little advance on my part might be visit the sixth circle. Cool, perfect. Okay, we just did that so much better when than we did it before. Moment, I'd like to speak to you. Ever since we talked about the battle of Cassiopeia. Oh Cassiopeia, fuck, her side quest. I can't get what happened out of my mind. Fuck. It's a lengthy one. Was it that obvious? I could handle these memories, but until I return to Cassiopeia, I'll never be able to put this to rest. The last time I saw my crew, their escape shuttle was headed for the planet's surface. I need to find the wreckage to ensure their memories are honored. I would like that. Actually, I need that. One problem, though. Spaghetto. Pinpointing the crew's shuttle. Rub Snyder is, going to is like a carrot to find a grain in space. In a sandbox. I think we need to start by locating my old campsite on Cassiopeia One. Um. What's there to tell? I survived. My crew didn't. Still. Oh, yeah, Grunge had him right there with you on <laughs> the Andrea Sarah Would I conundrum. launch safely or explode into a fireball? It turned out that my shuttle had just enough power to allow an emergency landing on the planet's surface. I had no other choice. Hold on. I don't know the exact location of my survival campsite. For that, we are going to have to head to Mast and see if we can get the information from my old friend, Admiral Logan. Your instincts are right on target. Logan and I butted heads more than once during my time with the Navigator Corps. We've never seen eye to eye. Look, I hope this isn't asking too much. Last thing I want to do is drag you into some kind of personal crusade. Well, that's exactly what's happening, though. Ah, <laughs> uh, thanks. I really needed a laugh. Truth is, I'm scared. When I set foot on Cassiopeia, ah, nostalgia beat that fallout I don't know too. If I'll be able to handle what I'm I excited for you. Let's do it. Ah, uh, if I begin to fall apart, I'm going to need someone who can keep my spirits up. I know you will. You've always been there when I've needed your help. I hope I didn't Why miss the flirt option. To support me. Uh, I'll never it understand. Been... Oh, there it is. Oh my god, here we go. I... I don't know what to say. 
Ah, oh, I've been so busy searching the stars for answers. I've overlooked what's been in front of me all this time. Yeah. True love. Yep. Something I've seriously considered sharing with you for a long time. Just not ready. Not yet. Well, she's not ready yet. Well, that ends today. Yes. Yes, you're absolutely right. Hey, um, anyway, I've taken up enough of your time. I know you have a lot to do. I really appreciate your offer to visit Cassiopeia. Hopefully, it'll bring me the closure that I've needed for far too long. Yeah, well, ooh, and now we can't dismiss her until that. Yeah, Wouldn't anyway, like but... We're doing some other shit before we do that. Hey there. The United Condos aren't anything special, but plenty of people call them home. Cool. Broken Spears upstairs. Go drown yourself there. This bar is for devil's vets and their kin. Hey, you know what? I am not in the mood. Doc Walker? Well, you're barking up the wrong. Andy. Andy. You. Why don't you come here and tell me what some Vanguard captain wants? The Red Devils aren't exactly your average bar crowd. Ball. You can see it in their eyes. Straight topside. We don't belong Wanders here. into my bar, asking after a man like Percival Walker. Raises questions. What nah, Starfield's not just a mothership scene to add on. At least I don't feel like it is. I enjoy my time with Starfield. There, uh, Rock Eye. Hadrian? A woman named Hadrian sent you, a member of the Vanguard, to find Percival. Hmm. Now, if that tag's a forgery, it's a damn good one. All right, Captain. If you are who you say, Supra et Ultra. Vanguard motto. What's it mean? Oh, fuck, I wasn't paying attention. Should have gotten that during your oath. Probably above and beyond. I'm... It's all right. I can vouch for this one. He's Vanguard. True as they come. And you're someone I should trust, huh? Why? I'm UC Military. Retired. Can give you my gene tag code, too, if you'd like. Not necessary. But look, even if I decided I was going to help you get in contact with Dr. Walker, Percival made himself scarce for a reason. His debt to the Trade Authority. But if someone resolved that debt, well, Percival wouldn't have to hide anymore. Can bet that person would make a friend out of Percival, and the rest of us devils. And I'm always inclined to help a friend. Okay, let's uh, ask him some questions here. Well, the most straightforward way to take care of this debt would be to just saunter up uh, Rock, to the I haven't been paying attention to any of the mod stuff with uh, Starfield yet. Um, of course, rumor I'm sure they're coming. I'm sure there is some stuff out there, but and I haven't even been thinking about mods yet. On a central server inside their storeroom. If someone was to break in there and adjust Percival's debt to something a little more reasonable, there's a ton say, of ways to do this quest. A few hundred uh, credits. Good. I'd be happy to cover the costs. Making that adjustment would be illegal. I don't think this is a road we should travel. But, uh, one friend of Hadrian's to another. Sidonia's full of old utility spaces. Wouldn't be surprised if there was one that let out right into the Authority storeroom. Yeah, it'd be a shame. Say, with an entrance behind the bar at the Broken Spear? Ooh, and you might need these. Red Devils were the meanest marine unit the UC Navy ever had. Couldn't get in if you hadn't done at least one stint as a Martian Dusty. Made us tough. Reliable. It's why they chose us as the handlers for the UC Xeno weapons. No other unit could handle that pressure. Percival, though, he wasn't a grunt like all of us. Science officer. Made sure the monsters behaved themselves around the Devils. Didn't with everyone else. 
But it was those monsters that did us in. Fair enough. When the colony war ended and the armistice came down, everything associated with Xeno weapons got shelved. Red Devils included. Now... Ah. Now they're just a memory. Man, Nukeman out here uh, getting likes on the streams. Thank you very much, uh, Nukeman. Yeah, yeah, liking the stream helps out a lot, so uh, Infantry consider officer. doing so if you are enjoying the stream, and uh, thank you for being here. The things. If you're just chilling and not chatting, that's cool, like but Before don't be shy. Uh, we like chatting in the chat, from the hanging out. Corners of the black, hey, Mark Cooper, well, thank you for being number 50. Oh, Spaghetti. Uh, Spaghetti says they, they were number 50. There's a fight between the two. Brutal. Armistice you guys better have a super chat board to settle, <laughs> to settle the difference. Wow. <laughs> Wasn't all bad that came out of that agreement. Hey, well, thank you guys. Anything. Uh, thank you very much. Yeah, man. See, uh, Grunchit, I enjoy it too, man. Uh, I've been playing it offline a lot, and I figured good news. might as well jump on and uh, stream it. Maybe Adrian's friend. Come here. Heard you talking with Lou. So see, this is what I was referring to. We can do this side quest to get it done and then give the trade authority what we end up making. But um, Walker doesn't like that and uh, he, you know, he could probably benefit from holding on to it himself. So if we just pay the trade authority off, I wonder how different the outcome is that I'm used to. Oh, good, good. Uh, Percival's a good guy. Listen. I know how you can do it without having to resort to any B and E. Aqueous hematite. Mars is full of it. People think it's just garbage. But Percival and I, we've been working on some projects in the deep mines. At least when he wasn't slaving away at his trade authority contract. But we stumbled on a way to make it useful and profitable. If you give our research over to Octai at the trade authority, it should more than cover Percival's debt. That guy's always looking for an angle. Oh, I'm Cambridge. I was Percival's Hello, assistant. Well, apprentice, really. Couldn't work in the mines I'm call anymore, you Ron so Howell. he gave me a job helping with some of his side projects. Know his experiments inside and out, and I know this one was going to be big. Yeah, right. It's mostly iron and about three centuries of human water runoff, though only Percival would be able to tell you all the trace elements and whatnot. But it builds up around human settlements, and something about the Martian soil changes it. it. Makes it into something new. And we think we found a use for it. Dope. No, 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 no. Well, yes, but, but the medical kind. I'd help him make whatever the city was running low on that month, and we'd sell it to the miners for cheap. Yeah, that's but fair, the trade that's authority fair. got wind and wanted their cut. And then some. Yeah, it does. It would be. Uh... There's just one issue. We were never able to finish the research. The oh spacers moved in and ran us out. Started setting up shop. Oh dear. I believe I see where this is leading. But if you can clear them out, I can walk you through how to finish the research. Then you can give it over to the trade authority. They'll get folks working in the deep mines again. Jobs come back, I become a modern day folk hero. <laughs> then I don't have to sleep on an inflated spacesuit anymore. All right, this does seem like a win-win. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So access to the deep mines can be found outside the city. It's not far. Shouldn't even need to hop back in your ship. We'd set up right near the main drill. Taking out the spacer leader should get the message across to the rest of them to buzz off. Once you've managed that, phone up here on the yeah, Grunge. This is a uh, this is a good quest. The research. It's probably one of the best quests in the game. So we're gonna go take care of the spacers in um, Careful near the railings on the upper levels. It's a long way down. In this deep mine. We're gonna make this Kim that makes miners fucking work really fast and really focused and really hard.
Okay, so that's it right there. And this is Mars that we're on right now, as you can see in the bottom left corner there. What's funny is when Barrett gives you the watch, he's like, and it even tells the time, and it does not tell the time. <laughs> it, in fact, does not tell the time. This game needs pets. Like I said, you can, uh... Uh, get animals and stuff at your settlement, but yeah, uh... I don't know why my suit's doing so fucking bad out here. Okay. Um... Cause like, I'm all covered up. Well, now it quit making the noise. Yeah, Starfield, uh, they announced the DLC when they, like, launched the game. I'm not sure when it's coming out, though. Uh, the Shattered Space DLC. Uh, I am interested, though, because I do like the main quest. We ought to be scanning this place, boys. Something else I just saw. Water. We did it. Hey, Archer in who? Good to see you. We're on our way to this deep mine out here on the Martian surface. We've got all the resources scanned on Mars. We just need to find its traits. That's probably a trait right there. But, uh, well, this is the stuff we're looking for, too. Aqueous Hematite. Named like a fucking Incubus song. Okay. Pardon? Fucking snap like Sounds way closer. Oh, okay, I was gonna say it sounds way closer than Sidonia. Whoops, let's see what we got here. Okay, let's use this. Let's go, boys. Uh, probably want the scanning. Let's see. You can detect exotic inorganic resources. Okay, or more botany. Okay. Fuck. System. Okay. What else do we got? Um, shield systems. Ooh. Well, oh, I like that. Let's do that.
Fucking him up with this uh, electricity damage. That shit. Oh, okay. Been in the bloody mines all day. <laughs> Obi Julu, thank you very much for becoming a member of a tribe called Mantis. Good to see you there. Welcome to the Vault Dweller tier. <laughs> Welcome, Vault Dweller, <laughs> to a tribe called Mantis. No, thank you very much for the support, though. I appreciate it big time. Uh... These access stairs lead deeper into the mines. Yes. I hope we remember the way back to the surface. Ah, we'll be alright, sir. Gravity's wild in here. What is it? 0.38. Uh, sure. 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 Actually, let's see what's right there. Sarah. That's locked, and I. Good enough at lock picking. God, I hate fucking digi picking in this. Reload it. We gotta change weapons. My eyes, I'm not supposed to get bullets in them. See what else we got, guys. What is this? Okay. Okay, let's uh I only have four rounds for it. Alright, fuck it. You're already dead. Get my arm! Yes. Got a Grindel. I like the Grindels. They're all right. Um, Equinoxes are very good. Let's see here. The Prime. We don't have any bullets for it. About the drum beat. We got bullets for that. Let's do it. This little. 
dance a bit there. But I saw more than that. What's that now? Tons of lockers. Already worth it. Whoa, where did they go? A pocket full of posies. Oh, I see. You were uh, singing Ring Around the Rosie. For some reason, when I read Pocket Full of Posies, I did so in the style of uh, Rage Against the Machine. Hey. Pocket Full of Show! <laughs> Alien jerky. Pack. A ton of minor jumpsuits. I need to go ahead and just not pick those up. But I did anyway. Oh, great. Fuck, I hate these things. Okay, so. Okay, that would work. And this could also work. Okay, that goes into nothing apparently, so yay. This goes into the bottom one, right there. Goes into the other bottom one, like that. Nothing. And... Like that. Okay, so let's... I hate that shit. I hate digi picking. <laughs> oh, I'm over. Oh shit. Oh man. Um. Well, oh, it's because of all this stupid fucking mining gear that I'm carrying. <coughs> uh, let's. We can also, you know what? Let's do this. Give Sarah. If you don't mind. I'd like to want to see what I'm carrying. Okay, let's uh, go ahead and give her. Oh, and give her a new spacesuits too. What's this one? Ooh. Okay. Well, uh, give that to her. Give this one to her. Okay. Um, we can also give her like all these clothes and she can wear some of them. So like... Oh shit. Feel free to drop Give her her new fucking spacesuit and jump back. Admiral Logan's office shouldn't be terribly far. Let's go. Okay. Uh I didn't rip on Oxhorn for shilling Bethesda. I ripped on Oxhorn because he was copyright striking uh people's YouTube channels when they said mean things about him. You're nothing. Which I thought was a shitty move. I mean, I'm sure, like, other things got thrown into that as well. I, a lot of people were talking about his uh, personal beliefs. It was some stuff he wrote in college as well, but my, my big thing was don't fucking copyright strike people or try to take down people's YouTube ahead, channels because they like, they you, you think they're being mean to you, but like that was so long. That was like four or five years ago, six years ago, dude. That was that was so long ago. Holy shit! 
I don't care if somebody shills Bethesda. I wouldn't say that I shill Bethesda either. I just, I fucking like Bethesda games. The reason I complain about them so much is because I like them so much. But them as a company, well. no, they've missed with me tremendously recently. I'm not very fond of them as a company, if I'm being honest. But uh, I, I can't argue that I love these fucking games. And, and it started because I liked Fallout uh, so much before they even got the IP for it. Um, back in the 90s, hey. I played Fallout 1 and 2 all the time. Um, One oh. down. Uh, so when they when they got the IP and actually started making games for it, like I was pretty stoked on it because I like their games. You know? Um, quit looting shit because we are at the brink of our way. Limit. Where'd we end up? <laughs> this doesn't seem right. Hey, Summer, I am having a great day. I hope you're having a great day. And then uh, it sounds like Prim Slim made their own bong or just smoked out of a homemade bong. That sounds wild. Hope you enjoyed it. Um, oh, shit. Okay, I see. I thought it was just a dead end. Oh, I think that's the one we're supposed to take out, too. Kinda strong. Yeah, Rissa, I'm kind of a douche, too, though, so... I don't really follow him or anything, but I would assume that Oxhorn has grown as a person. I've grown as a person. I don't agree with a lot of the way I went about, like... <laughs> just, like, fucking slamming him all the time. But, you know, those were the... The old days. And that's, uh, just having fun. But, uh... Day up when I got there. I'm surprised I didn't this over the limit. There's a guy right here. Oh yeah, shit. Get fucked. My superpowers. Got him. Okay. Don't need that rip chain. Take that. Alright. What's this? Synthetic ham. Alright, anyway. Wait. It would probably have to be this way. Let's see. Have to be. Aha! Uh -huh. What is my ailments here? What are we uh, working with? Also, there we go. Nothing. I see the status though. Extreme solar radiation. Shit. 
Now let's get that synthetic ammo. Hey, what's up, Nikki? Nice. Good to see you. Get up out of here. <laughs> Ooh! Frenzy return. If I wasn't so over encumbered, I'd be grabbing more of this stuff. Now, I must say, it sucks to be over encumbered, but that is the point of encumbrance. Is it to not be pleasant and you can't just run through and grab every. Ooh! God damn, I wish I. Okay. We're gonna have to remember these were here, guys. That's fucking wild. Uh, we get those, sell those on the black market. We're doing sexy. But uh, I don't have any protection on my ship that'll allow me to. Uh, get by customs with those. Oh, took care of the spacers, huh? Good. String theory. Uh, he's saying uh, string theory. The, all I know about string theory is multiple universes. I'm pretty sure that's the same thing. Um, yeah, I dig that shit. Thresher's the big machine in the next room. Passcode to start it is Aries two three three zero. Take care of all that, and we'll have Percival's name cleared in no time. Oh my god. Okay, so ooh, research lab soon. We can do anything check in here. Doesn't look like it. Oh. Okay. Okay. Alright. Alright. Pretty sure there's a unique cutter down here. I think. Anyway. There's a unique cutter down here. All set? Good. Uh, you can take the elevator in that room back to the surface. Well, well Prim Slim, there thank you very much for the compliment on the, uh, the OG Fallout video. I have more video essays open. that I'm trying to work on. I'll be waiting at the circle. I just, I, I have this habit where I start projects and start projects and start projects and then, you know, I'm fucking not doing any of them instead of focusing on one and so I really need to All that junk you're hauling is seriously slowing you down stay a little more focused What's this? okay anyway yo Have I found the counterfeit caps in New Vegas? Yes. I don't know if we've covered them on the channel, though. Like in the useless facts videos, so... Might have to do that. Uh, wait, what? Am I not doing this correctly? Wouldn't he be in Sidonia? Okay. Here, instead of being dumb, come here, sir. If you don't mind, have something for me? Yes. <laughs> um. Look at that. Still need to dump some off. Oh, yeah, let's see here. Okay. Let's 
gonna be hard to beat that one. Okay. We're getting there. Oh, we're almost there. So we give her all of these. Okay. And some more weapons. Okay. Now we're a little more. Admiral Logan. The office shouldn't be terribly far. Let's go. It's acting like I'm not doing this right. Yeah, Nikki, eight more months until uh Good Springs, New Vegas day is gonna be fucking dope. And I need to start booking and saving for that. Telling me no direct path seen. What the fuck? I would have assumed that we took that elevator and then just went back to Sidonia. Well, this is the end of the road here. Fire is key. Do I like Tool? I've seen Tool live, uh, and it was definitely uh, pretty awesome. I don't listen to him a whole lot, but I understand that they're fucking red. <laughs> um, I'm curious on what... Why the fuck it's sending me like this? And where the fuck it's sending me? Because Cambridge was in that bar, wasn't he? He's not gonna be here. Dude, I'm taking that elevator. I'm taking my chances, boys. Because now I can fast travel. So fuck. Oh, now I can fast travel. I have things for you. If you don't mind, I'd like well, to speak to Admiral dope, Logan sooner rather than later. Fishing for a hand. Admiral Logan's office shouldn't be terribly Oops. far. Let's go. Yeah, see, we we do just go back into Sidonia. Nice try. Uh, yeah, my email. Uh, it's weird that it's not on Twitch. My email is listed on uh, on on the YouTube page under the about. It should have a fucking. Or on uh, tksmantis.com, it's at the bottom of the website, too. Crimes at an all-time low around Sidonia. Okay. Yeah, Dick Lord, out seeker in space. Finally leaves the prison planet of Earth. You look hurt. I want to head out of the line. You've got the slate? Let me see. Reduced joint wear? Oh, increased <coughs> lifting capacity? A dose of this stuff could make a binder way more efficient. This formula's gotta be worth at least as much as whatever Percival owes. Okay. Have so you cooked a grilled cheese? You put fucking... Some trade people use mayonnaise. Found a business proposal. But, uh... Make miners I just more butter bread. Higher yield of put, synergy, uh, fucking, you know, all that I put, crap. like, two slices of Kraft American singles, debt. you know? You good at doing <laughs> on each. and stuff like that? A couple slices on each uh, bread, and then butter side pan. Fry that bitch up. Good to go. That's they usually come out pretty good that way. Yeah, I love the plastic cheese on that shit. When it comes to grilled cheese and stuff like that, I, I like that. Fried unicorn. Thank you for the follow over there on Twitch. Ah, oh, this is gonna be great. Oh, and here a copy of the formula for yourself, in case you ever wanna try maximizing your own industrial output. Oh, use that if you can. Good luck. Thank you. Get 
but I'm not gonna, okay, so this is where I'm not gonna use the data. I'm just gonna pay him off, and that way Percival can still have his fucking formula, and I've, I haven't played through the quest the like that yet. Pretty much on the lower here. So I'm curious to see if it really changes anything. Was there something else? Yeah, perfect. Do you now? It's like 21k the last here. time. And do remember... Yeah, fuck it. Hmm. Be clear. You have my thanks. Oh. So now they don't have that... Kim... stuff. Because Percival mentions it, too, when you, like, talk to him. It's like, well, I wish you wouldn't have given it to him. So it's like, we'll see what happens. you now fine work my end of the bargain then i suppose he's holed up in the old red devil's hq place was sealed up tight after the uc shuttered our unit but we snuck him in the back entrance through the deep mines yeah i, I remember when the guy bought fallout for the bottle cups it's cool that they let somebody do that but it sounds like i like how they were quick to say don't anybody else do this <laughs> yeah the posky I'll let him know but it's cool that it's like somebody was able to, you know. Thank you. A lot of bottle caps. Okay, let's see here. I think he... I don't think he's on Mars, is he? Oh, do we just go back to the deep mines? How did I first start playing Fallout? When I was like 11? 10, 11, something like that, back in like 97, 98. I, uh, well, it had to have been 98 because the first one I saw was Fallout 2. My uh, friend's older brother was playing it on uh, their PC, and I just was fucking enthralled by it. I was like, oh my god, this is the coolest thing I've ever fucking seen. And then, uh, once they got bored with it, I quickly was like, oh, well, let me give it a shot myself. And, uh, the rest is history. Borrowed the discs. Did a full giant install on my small ass computer that I had back in those days. And uh, bada bing bada boom, I was able to play it myself. I think he gave us the key for this door back here. That's shit again. Right. Of course, that's gonna be fine. Um, all right. What was this one? Okay. All right. So. Okay. Ooh. Okay. Let's do that. This one fits here too. Says it fits here. There we go. Okay. This one does too. Okay. Okay. 
What the hell? All right. Anyway, let's see here. Um, I just want to make sure that we don't fuck ourselves. Oh, okay. Okay, so if we have... For fucking nothing. Always. Okay, anyway. <laughs> yeah, I just am not a fan of that minigame. Prim is asking, if Starfield is good, you haven't, you haven't played it, is Starfield a good game? I enjoy Starfield. I like it. A lot of people have very... Um, very justifiable criticisms with it, in my opinion. And it definitely has its flaws, but I, I have a lot of fun playing it. So this is where uh, Percival's all held up. As you can tell by the music, it's a big reveal. Okay. And I have my own criticisms about it, too, but uh, I do enjoy it playing it. trying to get a better tissue sample. What? You can reattach a finger, per se. So Full what circle. exactly did she reattach all those me? fingers? Hadrian said that, huh? If she made you come all the way for this. Let's get inside. I need to see these cells. Well, let's go. He didn't mention the work that we did at all, so I wonder if I can sell it myself now then. What would have been the point? I think I'm just out 21k. I'll remember this now. He might bring it up in here, though. I'm gonna ask you to not touch anything. I've got some projects in the works down here. And I wasn't expecting guests. Oh. And Lou mentioned how you took care of the debt. Oh, here we go. Just paid the whole thing off, huh? Hope it's obvious from my current circumstances that that's going to be a gift, not a loan. Yeah, that's it. Well, fuck. Yeah, I'll just turn in the information next time. All queued up. Let's gaze into this abyss, shall we? All right. Just get those cellular markers. Tagged. I was born in 1987. Wait. Person. Where are the markers? This... this can't be right. This sample... it's... Londinian. I'll... I'll need to get this all in the slate. Adrian really gave you this sample. You're not lying to me? Because if you told me this was a hoax, and it'd be the best damn fake I've ever seen, I'd be mad and very, very relieved. Can't just humor an old man, huh? Nope, no humor this in sample, today. It's got all the indicators of the worst terramorph attack in human history. I presume you've heard of Londinian. It was. An entire city wiped off the map. The swarms are so bad, 
they had to blow the spaceport and seal the place off from the galaxy at large. Not a lot of samples made it off the world from the time of the attack, but the ones that did, well, they look just like this one. Oh my god. I didn't detect any of the telltale signatures this specimen ever sat on a ship while it was alive, either. I don't think it was transported to Talcetti. This specimen, it grew there, faster than any Terramorph should. Which means, if we're about to start a new era in human Terramorph relations, where big, sudden Londinian-style attacks can happen outside Londinian, that's not gonna end well for humanity. I'm gonna have to agree with it you. It would be the end of us as a species. So, you lug this bad omen all the way here. You wanna tell me what your plans are for it now? The circle, huh? Could use a drink about now. Here, faster if we take the lift to the surface. Not supposed to use it, but given the circumstances, I'm inclined to just ask forgiveness. Let's get going. All right. Well, that is going to be where we leave off in this little episode of playing Starfield. Uh, I hope you guys did enjoy kicking it with me here for a little bit. Uh, like I said, uh, in a little in a little while, a few hours from now, I'm going to go live again with um, the Wolf Among Us because I want to um, continue that playthrough that we've been doing of the Wolf Among Us. So I'm hoping to do that. Uh, like I said, within the next couple of hours or so. So join me for that. Uh, thank you all for coming out, uh, whether it was Twitch or YouTube. I appreciate you. For everybody who enjoyed the stream, make sure to leave it a like there. That helps out a lot. And I hope to catch you on the next one. It has been Mantis. Mm -hmm.